Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to transform your object. Okay, let's start it. First, open up your Blender, new file, general, press A to select everything, extrude it, go to the front view, press Shift A, mesh, a cylinder, press S, scale it on the Z axis, make it something like this, put it here. and right click, share auto smooth, and press shift A, empty, add an empty object, just use any empty you want, I'm gonna use this spear empty, I'm gonna put it here for now, tap to the edit mode, and go over here, object data property, add a vertex group, like this, and assign, I guess we need to create our object here, more like cream jar, press Ctrl R, put something here, maybe some around here, press Ctrl B, bevel just a little bit like this, and press Alt D, extrude face along normal, extrude it inside just a little bit like this, press A to select everything and assign, go to the modifier, add a modifier, go to edit here and vertices weight proximity, just click here, Vertex group here, change to group, and this target object, click this eyedrop, select this empty, and from city here, change object to geometry, and you can press control tab, change to wake pane over here, and we can adjust the lowest here, like this, maybe just something like this, press control tab again, back to the object mode. Let's add a modifier, deform, and we need a displace. Let's minimize this one. Just click new here, change local to object. So click this eyedrop, select this empty, vertex group here, change it to group. Click over here, and change this one to cloud, and you can reduce the size maybe something like this go to the modifier again I guess we need to add a subdivision surface let's put it over here and I guess we need to edit this one Press 3 in your keyboard, change to the face mode, select this object, press I, insert like this, and over here, insert just like this. Yep, just leave it like this for now. And let's adjust over here. something like this shade smooth and back to modifier and we can reduce this mid level over here and the string we can reduce it maybe something like this as you can see when we move this empty it will affect our object here back to our object add another modifier deform and add a displace again new local to object select this eyedrop to this empty Let's minimize this first, and this one change it to group. Click here, and we can adjust over here again. Maybe just something like this, or the deep here.
10 back to modifier we can turn down this one and this one yep this one is look good and add another modifier again still on deform and simple deform origin here click this eye drop click on your empty and restriction vertex group here change to group and let's twist it like 316 just like this change the axis to z-axis like this let's see yep we have a result like this and for now we only need to adjust the displacement here just found the shape you like maybe this one And let's move it over here something like this and select this one modifier you can press ctrl tab again to wake pain and we can adjust this modifier maybe like this let's see the result Okay, I guess it look okay to me. Next, Shift A, Mess, add the UV spear, as to scale it down. Press GZ, put it inside like this. Something like this. Press slash on your keyboard, tap to edit mode. Press one on your keyboard, change it to the vertices mode. Select this vertices, and turn on your professional editing. Change this to sharp. Press GZ, move it up like this. Back to the object mode, right click, shade smooth. Press slice again, as to scale it down. The size of this object should be smaller than our main object. Back over here, add a modifier again, deform and sync wrap. Click this eye drop and click this spear. We have something like this. Let's hide our spear. As you can see, the shape it's didn't really representation the, sh the spear we create before. And let's delete this first. Tap to edit mode. Then we need to add more vertices. Press three in your keyboard. Change it to the face mode. Select this face. Press I insert like this and press shift R just like this at the top here press I again insert like this press shift R just like this and press ctrl R add a loop cut here just like this and over here add another loop cut just like this back to the object mode let's Select this eye drop again and click this spear. Okay, it looks okay now. And we need to apply this modifier, this one only. Just click here and apply as a shift key. Now, if we go to the object data property here, we have shape key here, the basis and the sync wrap. When we click on the sync wrap here and increase the value, our object will deform to 
something like droplet here and let's try to animate it maybe like 90 second let's run this to zero select this empty press i insert location go to the last frame press gz move it down just like this press i again insert location and let's hit the spacebar maybe over here at the frame 40 here just when our object here change the shape go over here object data property the value here press i to insert and let's hit the spacebar again yep let's just make it here and just go over here at the frame 16 change the value to 1 and insert keyframe now we have something like this and let's expand another window here and this one let's move it down a little bit and change this one to shader editor let's go to the frame one let's add a new material here let's change this to material preview let's add a color just like this maybe this one hit the spacebar yep it shall be change the material also for this one let's put it here and what we're gonna do is press shift a search for mix shader click here and just put it here and shift a again search for maybe glass bsdf just put it here and connect this bsdf to this shader just like this the mix shader is gonna mix this to bsdf the principal bsdf and the glass bsdf if we turn down the value over here the factor it gonna be 100 percent to principal bsdf over here and if we change it to the one factor here it's gonna be 100 percent to glass bsdf how to animate it just go over here frame 14 change it to zero press i insert the keyframe and move to the frame 16 increase factor to one insert keyframe hit the spacebar yep just like this let's back to frame one just assume you have a two material here let's go here and add a new material just new let's make it maybe make it metallic tap to edit mode nope this one and go over here that object property first change it to basic tap to edit mode and alt z to see the x-ray view select all of these vertices and go to the material property click assign just like this tap to the object mode now we have a two material here when hit the spacebar something like this will happen let's fix this one go to the select this material select this mix shader and glass bsdf press ctrl c to copy this node and back this to the material too ctrl v to paste it and just connect over here in civil bsdf to this shader and shader to the surface just like this and go to the frame 16 factor here press i insert the keyframe and go to the frame 40 here reduce the factor by zero insert the keyframe and that's it guys thank you for watching